Hi, so today I'm going to show you how easy and intuitive it is to make accurate measurements on the 4 Series MSO. So I've currently got a uh, clock signal uh, connected to channel 1. Channel 2 and 6 are, are not needed. And I want to see what frequency this particular clock signal is at. And we can do that really quickly and effectively. So we have the measurement tab. Um, and maybe, maybe I'll have an amplitude button as well. So we're going to measure the amplitude and we're also going to measure the frequency. So these two particular measurement badges now will remain there until I turn them off, even if I was to turn channel one off. So as you can see, I've turned channel one off, I can turn channel two on, but I still get my measurement badges running through their measurement cycle. So I'll just turn channel two off and I'll put channel one back on. I could even look at the statistics. So if I press on the measurement tab two, I can look at the time trend, I can look at the histogram, and I can even look at the spectrum. And you can see here, we've got the statistics running there. If I was to cl click the histogram, you immediately get a nice visual representation of the jitter or wonder of the clock as it's bouncing between the 39.8 and 40.2 uh, megahertz. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.